Welcome to another tech video. So today we are going to be looking at this HP ProBook 4530S. It's a Core i3 um, machine, quite old, used to run Windows 7, has been upgraded to Windows 10, is still on the original hard disk and is running extremely slow um, for a new install. And what we want to do is we're going to be donating this laptop to um, someone in the local area who needs it for their homeschooling so um, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can improve the performance of this um, currently it takes a good few minutes to start up we want to make it a little bit snappy and we want to make it usable for them going forward so in order to do this we're going to be changing the hard disk um, but um, we don't want to spend any money on it obviously because um, there's no income coming in from it it's just going to be donated but we do want it to last and we do want it to be um, performing as expected for a laptop for homeschooling people don't want to be waiting around for things so let's have a quick look at the system itself so let's zoom in So as you can see there, it's a Core i3 running at 2.3 gigahertz, 6 gig of memory because it's got a 4 gig stick and a 2 gig stick in there. Um, and it's running Windows 10 Pro. Uh, without further ado, let's get this shut down. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be using um, a Macrium Reflex to clone the drive. But before we do that, um, we need to go through and show you what we're currently using in terms of the drive that we're going to be sticking in this device. So let's go ahead and let's shut this down. Okay, so here as you can see we've got uh, we've got an M.2 drive. This is um, the one with the two slots in, so this is M-B, so M and B, um, and as you can see here, this drive is from an old system of ours. It's been sat in the cupboard for uh, about six months, so we're going to make use of this. This is a 128 gig uh, M.2 drive, and then what we've got here is a Sabrent M.2 SSD to SATA USB uh, SATA drive enclosure. So this is the first time we've uh, we've used one of these. So this will be interesting to make sure that it works. So first of all, let's have a look at it. Okay. So we've got some paperwork. Oh, that's that's good. We've got a nice little screwdriver. We've got a bag of screws. And we've got a two and a half inch drive. So let's go ahead and see if we can prise this apart. We've got a tab on the bottom that we just hold on to and that pulls out like that. And inside, as you can see here, this is where our M.2 drive is going to go and as you can see on the um, connector here uh, it's it's not B slash M um, but it should work just fine with this um, it's a universal type of adapter so um, once that's installed we should be able to connect it all up and we should be able to see everything so let's get that installed so the way you fit these is the peg goes into the slot and it just sits in there like that and then we're going to um, screw the drive down carefully so take my gloves off for this so I can fiddle around. Okay, so we're going to use the screwdriver provided. We're just going to pop that down on there, put the locking screw in. Like that. And then we're going to take the drive cover, 
put it on top and we've got uh, four little tiny mount holes. Okay, so once we've got the M.2 drive installed, as you can see, that's just now a standard uh, two and a half inch SATA drive, um, which is great. So that's all there is to that part. The next thing we're gonna do is we need to clone our operating system onto the drive. Okay, so this is the setup for cloning. So we've got, we've got Macrium Reflex, uh, the free edition, on here but it's going to enable us to clone the hard disk that's in here onto our two and a half inch SATA drive that we've got connected up with a SATA to USB adapter. Um, we're going to boot up the machine um, from the Macroom Reflect drive and we're then going to clone the hard disk onto this and once that's done uh, we'll come back because um, we've done previous videos on this, you don't need to see that. Um, just check out our previous videos if you want to um, see how we clone a disc. Um, so we'll come back once that's completed. Okay, so once Macrium Reflect has loaded, uh, the way that we go about cloning, uh, we're not actually going to go through it and wait for it to finish, but you go into Backup, you select, make sure that your main drive is selected, and we want to clone this drive we want to select the disk, so we want to select our USB connected Sabrent disk, which is this one here, which is 128 gig, um, and we're cloning from a 250 gig, uh, um, 250 gig hard disk uh, to a 128 gigabyte uh, M.2 drive in the SATA enclosure. So we're going to select our drive, we're going to select next and as you can see here it will shrink the last partition um, to fit the drive and then we merely click on finish and then once that's completed we will come back and we will get the drive installed we'll get it booted up and then we'll do the windows updates so join us for the next part right so we've got the drive installed so the next thing that we want to do is we want to get that installed into the device itself. So we're going to remove the battery. Then we're going to remove the cover. Okay, so let's have a look. So we've got one retaining screw in there at the moment. So we're going to remove the drive. Okay, move it over to there. Let's get the drive out. Okay, so now we're going to insert the drive. Making sure that it all lines up correctly. Just want to make sure that the screws are tight. And don't stick out because that prevents the drive from going in in the right place. There we go. Okay, so that's the drive installed. Now we're going to put our retaining screw back in. So this uh, this laptop only has one, so we're only going to put the one back in. We'll put it back in the same place it came out from. Like that. And then cover back on. And then the battery back in. And there we go, so we've got the 
classic windows spinning icon and straight in so time to boot seconds as opposed to minutes so that's much better now so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to run all of the Dell uh, sorry all of the HP updates to make sure that all the devices are have the drivers um, and then we'll do another test so that's all the Windows updates done um, everything is fully up to date the boot time has increased from so from power on to getting into the desktop with the hard disk installed was uh, four minutes and with the new disk installed that is now 25 seconds so uh, significant improvement also also opening the applications so um, if you open up a web browser it opens pretty much instantly so um, they're going to have a, a really good experience using this for homeschooling so if you found that video useful give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel just like to say stay safe and see you in the next one